Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to simplify cube roots using prime factorization. Let's jump into number one, where we have the cube root of 48. Now, 48 is not a perfect cube, so we're not going to get a nice, clean-cut whole number for our answer. But we can simplify this cube root. We can break it down, so to speak. We're going to do this by using the prime factorization of 48 to pull out any cube roots of perfect cubes. So let's start with the prime factorization of 48. We need to break this down until we only have prime factors. Now there are different paths to take in order to get to the prime factors, but in the end, no matter what path you take, you'll get to the same prime factors. So something to keep in mind. Let's come to the side here and take a look at the prime factorization of 48. I'm going to start with the factors of 2 and 24. Now 2 is prime, so we are done over there, and we can continue to break 24 down. Let's use the factors of 2 and 12. 2 is prime, so we are done there, but we can break 12 down. Let's use the factors of 2 and 6. 2 is prime, so we are done there, but we can break 6 down. Let's use the factors of 2 and 3. 2 and 3 are both prime, so we are done. That's the prime factorization of 48. Now that we have the prime factorization of 48, we can rewrite the cube root of 48 with these factors. We can rewrite this as the cube root of 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. This is still equivalent to 48, so we're not changing the value of anything. Now we need to find prime factors in groups of 3. We have a group of 3 twos right here. That represents a perfect cube that we can pull out. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8, and the cube root of 8 is 2. So let's pull out a 2. So this is going to equal 2 times the cube root of 2 times 3. We still have that 2 times 3 under the cube root symbol. We cannot simplify any further, so let's multiply. We have 2 times 3, which equals 6. So we end up with 2 times the cube root of 6. And that's our final simplified answer. 2 times the cube root of 6. Let's move on to number 2, where we have the cube root of 250. 250 is not a perfect cube, so let's simplify this cube root. We will start with the prime factorization of 250. Let's come to the side and take a look at the prime factorization of 250. I'm going to start with the factors of 2 and 125. 2 is prime, so we are done there. 125, we can break that down. Let's use the factors of 5 and 25. 5 is prime, so this is done, but 25, we can break down. Let's use the factors of 5 and 5. 5 is prime, so we are done. That's the prime factorization of 250. So we can rewrite the cube root of 250 as 2 times 5 times 5 times 5. Now we need to look for any prime factors in a group of 3. Well, we have 3 fives right here, so we have a group of 3 fives. That represents a perfect cube that we can pull out. 5 times 5 times 5 equals 125, and the cube root of 125 is 5. We can pull out a 5, so we now have 5 times 
the cube root of two. We cannot break that down any further. We cannot simplify any further. So this is our final simplified answer. Five times the cube root of two. So there you have it. There's how to simplify cube roots using prime factorization. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.